What's up guys, it's Sam here and in today's video, finally I have got my hands on two Pokerev Mystery Pack Season 3.0 version. So I missed the previous waves of these, they sold out like almost instantly and I was like super super hyped to manage to get my hands on these ones. Oh man, these mystery packs look absolutely amazing. If you guys know Poker Ev, um, I mean, you guys should do if you watch Pokemon content. And if you haven't, you know, welcome to the world. Um, but Poker Ev is pretty much one of the biggest um, Pokemon um, content creators. He does awesome openings. Um, he's basically released a mystery pack. Um, and in this mystery pack, you get, you could potentially pull out all school vintage booster packs and also packs from any era you can imagine all the way back to the year 1999 so all those packs so old school packs oh man it's just so exciting um so yeah you get five packs from any of the sword and shield era sets but also you get one bonus pack which could be from any um of these tiers listed here that mega bonus pack is called a mega bonus booster pack you got four um chances you got gold silver red and green so if we look at the back here it kind of gives you like a breakdown so it's basically saying that you're going to guarantee to get any of the sword and shield um era sets anyway but then you get in the mega bonus mystery pack gold this is the one we want we want gold this is top tier and it's a 1 in 25 chance at an old school vintage pack. It could be a wizard of a core set such as Fossil, Jungle, Rock. You can even get Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Um, and then you've got the tier below it which is a 1 in 10 chance that is the Silver tier. And you can get any set from the black and white era there. Um, you know, things like Legendary Treasures, Dragons Exalted, it seems there's Dragons Exalted on there, Black and White Bases, just so many, literally any set of Pokemon cards you can ever imagine can be pulled out of this. Um, and then we've got the Red Tier, which is a 1 in 5 chance for any booster pack from the XY era or the Sun and Moon era, so any sets from those eras. And then finally, the lowest minimum guaranteed tier is the Green, which will be um, any booster pack from the Sword and Shield era. So we do not want to pull green we want to pull gold we, gold or silver i'll be super super happy with i'll be happy with any of these you know I, I, I don't even mind these as well to be honest but honestly these are the two that i really really want i can't wait to get into this okay so we're gonna open the first pack now and i'm gonna try to do this where i open the sword and shield guaranteed five of those packs first and then kind of check out um what is the bonus pack so let's check out the five sword and shield ones we've got fusion strike brilliant stars astral radiance chilling rain and pokemon go is even in this one as well so this is quite a recent set so you know that's the five that you get and then the first mega bonus pack is oh it's a red Okay, we'll take it, you know, we'll take anything that's not a green, but the first one is a red one, so we are going to get a set from the XY Sun Moon era, so we can get like Cosmic Clips, Unbroken Bonds, Unified Minds, Evolutions, um, so we'll leave these ones till last actually, so I'm going to pop that there, um, we're going to quickly open these actually, see what we can pull out of these first, so we'll start off with Pokemon Go, let's just quickly get through these um, before we get into the main event of the mystery bonus pack. So Pokemon Go, I've been open a lot of this anyway. Not a lot that I actually need from this set any longer. I've pretty much pulled the majority of the cards there. So Blastoise Hollow in that one. Next up, we are moving on to Chilling Rain, which I think is a very, very, very underrated set. It's got some absolutely beautiful uh, alt art cards. Um, and three birds in alternative art is basically what I want from these. That would be really, really cool. Nothing in that one. Next up, we've got Actual Radiance, the main chase card. And I believe one of the hardest cards to pull is that Machamp alternate art card. So, can we pull anything out of this one? Because we didn't get gold, 
I want some form of hit from this. Please give me a hit. Any hit out of these booster packs would be great. Nothing from that. Brilliant stars. Guys, you know brilliant stars. Charizard, Charizard, and more Charizard. Still after uh, the Alt Art Charizard, the Full Art Charizard, the Rainbow Charizard. And, uh, the only Charizard I've got of this, I think, are the V-Stars and the V. I haven't managed to actually pull the gold um, or the rainbow yet. And nothing in that one is also a bad start. Finally, we're finishing off with Fusion Strike. Probably one of the weakest sets from Sword and Shield, uh, in my opinion, anyway. I mean, the Mew Alt Art card is amazing. But to be honest, I'm probably underestimating it because I've already pulled that card. I mean, I need the Alt Art VMAX version. Um, oh, actually... Wait, no, the Gengar VMAX all art is what I desperately, desperately need from this. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna leave that to last. Let's quickly check this out. Let's see what's gonna be in this one here. Um, so, yeah, okay, so we've got Fusion Strike, Brilliant Star, that's the Rain, Chilling Rain, and Darkness Ablaze in this one. And the last pack. Oh, it's a green. It's a green. I did, I did get like a little poker of. Um, is it a sticker? Oh, nice. I could probably like have this at the back. Promotion. <laughs> but yeah, you get this. Oh, this must have been in the other one as well. Oh, no, it wasn't. Maybe uh, he gave me that as a, a sorry. Say so you only got a green one. So, actually, actually, I lied. I did get two, I think. Where they've gone. Anyway, so I might as well just open this now because this is one from the Sword and Shield sh sh era. Um, unfortunately, no um, actual silver or gold packs today. I mean, it's one in 25, one in 10 chance. I mean, I got the one, one in five red, so I mean, it's better than nothing. Okay, Darkness of Blazer code card was reversed, so we are going to get some form of hit from this. Um, so the main card from this is Darkness of Blaze, and I've pulled so much Darkness of Blaze. I must have like two of every single card from this, so it's not something that I need. It is a Salamence V there. Nice, sleeved up Salamence V. Chilling Rain is next. Another shot at one of those all art um, Galarian birds. Hopefully, we can get that. Boot, Scorpio Skies, Grookey, Sneasel, Blitzel, Ghastly, Coffin, and a Weezing. Next up, we have Astral Radiance again, hunting for that match on. Um, so, yeah, these, these packs are really, they are super fun to open. In my case, um, look didn't go my way i wasn't really expecting it anyway because my luck isn't exactly the greatest um but do you know what worst case scenario was two green packs i mean if i pulled two green packs that would have been extremely 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 upsetting but honestly they, they are really really fun to open um and just like that feeling a chance of actually getting a vintage boost pack that would be so awesome um, I mean, those boost packs are so valuable anyway, and just opening one of them would be so, so cool. Um, but we'll see what we get in the red one. I mean, we could get a Cosmic Eclipse or uh, an Evolution. An Evolution? There's suddenly the Evolution's Hollow Charizard. I mean, that would that would be a win. I would definitely, definitely, definitely take that. So we'll see what we get out of that after I've opened these can we get anything from this fusion strike pack nope nothing there finally we have a chilling rain pack here okay there is the code card for you guys can we get hit out of this at the moment we've got not many hits i mean it is 12 booster packs in total i'm used to opening more than 12 booster packs and getting zero hits as well so oh we'll take that Oh, we will definitely, definitely take the center not the greatest, but I do need this for my collection. It's a secret rare gold bronzong from Chilling Rain. I will definitely, definitely, definitely take that. Wow. Very cool. A new addition to my collection. I haven't actually got many Chilling Rain packs left as well, so that's very cool. I think I actually I might have a booster pack. Uh, booster box kicking about somewhere. Um, I usually try to keep one booster box. Um, in reserve okay what is the pack gonna be it is a ultra prism moon so we've got chances of a gold sold in here but let's 
get this orb and I'm pretty sure the Ultra Prism cards are actually in the reprinted version of V or Beetle V box guys so if you guys see a or Beetle V box um, in any stores local to you make sure you pick one up if you want the chance of Ultra Prism or Cosmic Eclipse in there okay so we've got Gumshoes, Shield on, Lepony, Magnemite, Cherubi, Canary, Hippopotamus, Simeon, Reverse Holo, Execute and a Fan Rotom as well so that was um, the red tier Ultra Prism. Still a pretty, pretty cool set. Unfortunately, there was no hits in there for me. However, I did pull a Salomon V and a Gold Bronzong, so I am happy with that. However, luck was not on my side today, but these Poker Red Packs are sold out now. And it is max two per person as well. Like, they're really that in demand um so whenever the next wave comes out i'm still going to get it because i mean it is at the end of the day a chance to get a vintage booster pack which is just really difficult to get hold of now and obviously if you do get hold of them you have to pay like stupid crazy price um but it would just be so cool to like actually open one of these for you guys um so hopefully maybe next time but yeah guys that is it from me Hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like on the video. Please feel free to subscribe to the channel and get notifications on my future videos. And as always, guys, I will see you in the next video. Peace out.